Alrighty, and welcome back, everybody. We are going into our third game of tonight's uh, NAC regular uh, season opener from St. Clair College versus Cody College, or Cody College, actually. Uh, and we are on King's Row. What do you think is going to happen this game, Sox? St. Clair is defending first, so I'm thinking another pretty dominant performance from them. Uh, Cody College has to not only break through that first point there between the uh to get past the statue of mandata to get to the capture point and then they also have to capture the point i think saint Clair is really good at moving together and especially with the torbjorn to create a sort of crossfire of damage where they're positioned i think saint Clair has this one in the bag for sure interesting pick on the side of Cody with the bastion um we see him a lot on this map because he can be placed in a lot of useful places um, but it doesn't look like they have a Symmetra, so they might not do the TP strat this uh, this round, but... It looks like they're just relying on the Bastion to get uh, a lot of damage in on that Reinhardt shield. But it looks like that's not gonna happen as we see St. Clair just running in to meet them. And they are all chasing down the Bastion! Or the, oh. the Baptiste! Bailable, Strider, Prince Wada, Apostle... I think I saw every name pop up on the kill feed there. You can see... If not for a kill, for an assist. The thing about Bastion is that he's very stationary, so he sets up in one place and he very rarely moves. So all Sinclair really had to do there, and we saw them do it, was walk past their tanks into their team and, well, you saw the kill feed. For sure. It looks like Seymour is trying to get an early pick here and Prince Wada's gonna run in hammer first, getting bubbled by Seymour. Oh. Uh, and they just, decimate the other team with uh, Apostle getting some kills with Lucio and then uh, Strider getting uh, a huge tracer bomb there. The picks with tracers pulse bomb were really really good and really needed. Um, getting rid of the Bastion and the Baptiste in one go takes away a lot of damage and a lot of healing from Cotty College. With St. Clair kind of specializing in that um, dive style of attack, even when they're not playing uh, primarily dive comp. Oh, it looks oh. like Prince Wada's gonna get a shatter here, uh, cutting me right off and just cleaning up the other team again. But St. Clair with their um, their kind of dive style of, of playing, it's, it can be difficult to play Bastion into that when they can just dive right on you and uh, you're dead in an instant. Especially on attack, you want a more, I think, mobile hero than Bastion to sort of get you through that initial choke. Especially when you have characters like Tracer and, and Lucio who can just speed in and out and get out of situations really easily. For sure. Can, oh, see Apostle Apostle. down! Apostle's there to scout to see where the enemy team is coming from, relaying that information to his team, and then St. Clair can just go in and off of that information and do what they do best and just murder the enemy team. Yeah. It looks like Justin has nano boost with uh, Seymour with uh, Grab as well and Strider with the Tracer Bomb, so we might see a combination of these ultimates. Uh, Cody College, or Cody College, uh, has one ult right now and it's from Baptiste, but the back window could make or break this situation, uh, especially when they have Junk and Ash here to really amplify that damage and, and get that shield break. It looks like they did take out Bailable's turret, but it doesn't matter. The Nano Zarya into the grab will take this team apart. Cody College falling once more to St. Clair. They trapped uh, um, Rogue Taroga in the, the corner there, and the entire team just kind of like surrounded her, and she had nowhere to go. That must have been a scary moment for her. At that moment, you just kind of look, you see, and you you pray. Yeah, Ooh. you just hope for the best. <laughs> Strider's pulse bomb for the first time tonight, actually not getting any kills. Pulse bomb can be an extremely strong ultimate if uh, you know how to land it right, and it seems like nine times out of ten he definitely does. But he looks like uh, he's gonna clean up the baby diva there, and uh, the team's gonna push up right to the the spawn. Uh, almost a little bit toxic there, trying to keep them trapped in there. 
just a touch, but that just goes to show how badly St. Clair want this win and how badly they want to take it home. They're going to punish misplays and they're going to punish people just coming out of spawn in a linear fashion. They're not going to let them just stagger in without taking advantage of the fact that Cody College just seems to be walking into them, walking towards them. For sure. Uh, and now we will see Cody College on the defense this time around. So I think now they could probably pull out the Bastion. If they're going to run an Orissa and a Bastion, this on defense would probably be a better time to do it. There's a few options on high ground where they could set up, or even a, a Widowmaker would be a good pick for Cody College. Um, you just have to be careful of who you're dueling. If Strider or even Bailable pull out the Widowmaker, it's a, a duel that I personally definitely don't want to take. For sure. They're both formidable uh, snipers. It looks like Bailable is going to take the Widow um, to try to get an early peek there. Maybe just for... Oh, he swapped, he swapped back to Sombra. Um, I do know that St. Clair team likes to get those early picks with Widow and swap back right in spawn before uh, exiting, but it looks like they're going to go for the Sombra maybe to, to hack. Uh, they might be expecting a Bastion and think that's the best way to get rid of them i'm not quite sure but they're about to show us very very quickly oh it'll be an interesting matchup for sure especially since they're running the ryan zarya and cody college is running sigma diva where sigma diva have a lot of eat potential compared to reinhardt shield the defense matrix and the sigma shield just don't have enough health Oh, and I just saw Demi2K get a little bit stuck in that stairwell there, but it looks like they managed to get out, and oh, Strider goes down. falling. Falling to Silken Stars, getting stunned by the Brigitte, and then just getting shot. Wow, St. Clair oh, yeah. is kind of regrouping up behind them here, um, trying to get a good opportunity to enter as they're down one DPS, but Strider's already back, taking out the... Prince Wabat actually taking out the Baptiste, and the rest of the team's following up with two more kills. Um, and Ooh. another kill on the side of Strider, so Cotty College looks like it's gonna I'm... be a win for St. Clair, 3-0. 3-0 to St. Clair, a very quick game. But I think Cotty College does have the potential to become a formidable opponent. They sure. just need to work a little bit on the comps, and maybe a little bit on the comms, and then I think they'll they'll be able to to put our boys in their place. For sure, I'd like to see a rematch, uh, maybe in like a year's time, to see the difference here. It, me as well. I would definitely love to see that as well, especially since Scotty College is a new team. They formed just earlier this year, and there's very little information on their esports team. But from what I saw, they're they're very they're they're new new. They're brand new. So the potential for them to go anywhere is is limitless. A little bit of practice, a little bit of dedication, a little bit more scrim time, more coaching, and they could knock our socks off. For sure. I like the pun there. That's pretty good. Yeah, you uh, know. So we do have a schedule for the next couple matches um, with St. Clair. Looks like... For Tuesday the 29th at 8 p.m., we have the NACE Rocket League doubleheader. Uh, Wednesday the 30th at 8 p.m. again, we have UCEA Overwatch season opener uh, for our varsity team. Thursday on the 1st, we have 7 p.m., another NACE Overwatch versus Kettering University match. Uh, and that's it for Overwatch for the week. As we move to Friday the 2nd at 8.30 p.m., uh, we have the Collegiate Rainbow Six regular season week three. And the following night, Saturday the 3rd at 10.30 a.m., we have the Rocket League Spirit Esports Tournament. Uh, so we have a lot of Rocket League and Overwatch in the coming weeks, so be sure to stay tuned for that and follow up on our social media. It's definitely going to be a packed schedule, which is going to be great. And Commander, you're going to be casting the game on Wednesday as well, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. I will not be. You'll have Zeddy back to cast with you again. But it'll be, I think, amazing to see you. Uh, on the screen again to cast oh. Overwatch. Thank you very much. Uh, pretty new to it and um, hoping that it'll go well. I know today I think it went pretty well, especially um, Socks, you haven't casted too many times before, I do believe, but you did great. 
I prefer to be more analytical. I prefer to be more editorial. I, I like to be more behind the screen than actually on it. But I had a lot of fun today, especially watching Overwatch, which is the game I'm most passionate about. For sure. And looks like we're going to end the stream very shortly here. But before we do, uh, just a huge thank you to our sponsors, St. Clair College, St. Clair SRC, St. Clair Alumni Association, um, Zeckelman School of Business and Technology, PC Outlet, and Tim Hortons. I think I'm going to go get that double-double now. <laughs> yeah, now I'm starting to think about it, too. <laughs> we will see you all on Wednesday or for Tuesday sure. every day. <laughs> Alrighty, thanks everybody for coming out.